quite gutted. I thought rather than trying to capture what the event is about, I would try to have a fun project in mind. So while we have all these nomadic people together in schoolies and vans and cars and tents, I thought that I would get their take on what they do for toilets. So in this video, we're going to get the scoop on poop. So the first thing we've got to know is what kind of toilet people have. I pee in this pot. Pee pot. Poop can. This is the nature's head toilet. Separating toilet. In this portable toilet. It's a bag system. A shovel and toilet paper. Dead for toilet. A cassette toilet. I have bottles. It's called a clean waste. We are here at Gutted 2021, and I am taking the time to ask people some very serious questions. You guys go ahead, introduce yourselves, and we'll get to the questions. We're Lost Renegades on YouTube. I'm Jen. I'm Charlie. This is Mako, and our other little fluffy one is sleeping under the van. What do you guys do for your toilet? This is our little camping toilet right here, and uh, you have the other end. Oh, yep, these are our sustainable, I think they're biodegradable, compostable bags, and it's a, it's a bag system. <laughs> yes, we've broken it a little bit. So the bag just goes in like that, close the lid, and you do your business. Uh, we're particularly fond of this method because these can be tossed. They don't need to stay or smell in the space, and we also lose absolutely no, no space, space to having a fixed toilet you can go outside <laughs> yep do your business with a view so that's your number two method that's our number two. <laughs> we do try and use public washrooms this is more of a Just if a we place. are in the middle of nowhere or it's like very early or very late um we keep this in the van at night time we usually keep in the trunk we pull it in and so where do you end up dumping your uh the little trash cans okay uh, usually like dumpsters or like where uh, you would leave like dog waste. Yeah, so because these bags are compostable and it is just waste, it's, you know, thinking the same thing of throwing out baby poop, dog poop, same type of deal. Hey, I have a little funnel and we go with our, our, our favorite method is a, a Gatorade bottle. Uh, down a sewer drain. Yeah, okay. down a sewer drain or, I mean, we use smaller things. So anywhere we feel like you know, I could have peed outside anyways. We kind of just dump it. Well, I have a separating toilet, was sometimes called a composting toilet, where basically you have the separator where you have a number two area and a number one area. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm doing. So number one goes to one place, number two goes to another. You see like the little separator and you think, oh, this is perfect. Number one, it's always gonna perfectly land and number one and number two is always gonna perfectly, and that doesn't always happen sometimes like, especially if you're, you're a lady, things are a little harder to aim. Um, so it's been a little bit of an adjustment. Before that, I was just doing the straight bucket thing. Um, but I do like it. I just think I need to tweak and adjust it a little bit. Hi, my name is Billy Webb. I'm on TikTok and I've been living in my van for a year. So this is gets uncomfortable for some people, but not for people like you. I pee in this pot. I don't use it for cooking, don't worry. <laughs> um, I use other ones for cooking, but then I always just like, kind of dump it out outside wherever you know it's dirt out here it's fine for pooping i have a shovel here i can go outside anywhere just dig a six inch hole has to be six inches and then you poop in that and then you get some compostable toilet paper and then cover it up and that's it's fine that's what hikers do long you know like backpackers who hike across the united states so that works obviously i go to Planet Fitness and stuff, I'll use the bathroom there, grocery stores, that stuff too, it's fine. Hi, I'm Buddy Plays here. This is my 2020 NV200 Dimples, and we travel across the United States. My toilet is a super simple solution. Last year, whenever I was traveling, I noticed that some of the BLM lands said you couldn't travel without a chemical toilet, so I bought just the generic $70 Bedford toilet, and it fits right here under my bed. Now, when we're at places like this, we're fortunate that we actually have porta potties. So unless I absolutely need it, it has a nice, safe, secure place, but it does work really well. It doesn't smell or anything and uh, super simple. Okay, so you wouldn't change it? I probably wouldn't change it. In my small rig, I don't think I have enough room for a composting and that would be the only thing I would change it to probably. Okay, and so is that for both one and two? Yes, I use okay. it for both. 
and then um, if I am in a weird spot where I can't pull it out or something like that, mm -hmm. I'll usually just save like a Gatorade bottle or something like that. What do I do for a toilet? Well, most of the time if I'm in the van and I don't want to leave it, I have bottles. I go into gas stations or any place with a bathroom like Walmarts or Home Depots. Hi, my name is Bev from the YouTube channel Becoming Bev. And apparently today we're talking toilets. <laughs> so I went with a cassette toilet and I made this pretty little cover for it. So it's also my footstool and my guest chair occasionally. So when I need to go to the bathroom, I just toss it out of the way, lift up the lid, do my business, close the lid before I flush it. And then it just has a pull nozzle here. So you pull that and your business goes down in the holding tank. And then I press the little pump back here and it rinses the tank out and that goes in there. And I also put a little bit of additive in the holding tank so it doesn't mm -hmm. smell. And then when I'm ready to empty it, there's two latches like this on the side that I undo the latch, lift this up, and then I take this to a toilet or a bathroom or whatever, unscrew this and empty it. So I don't do number two that way. Typically, if I'm anywhere near a bathroom, Mm -hmm. I go do that. Okay. And if I'm not near a bathroom, I was inspired by you and I have a toilet bag that fits in here with horse pellets and do my business in there, tie it up and toss it in the trash. <laughs> Just so you get the idea, I'm typically here like this. I have my toilet paper right above me. So toilet paper, the drop-ins for the holding tank and then the toilet bags. And I rarely have to do this, but it's handy to have when you do have to. So like that, and then the little pellets, just sprinkle those in there. And whenever you're done, you pull the strings, tie it up and toss it. My name's Tam and this is my home. It's a Honda CRV 2010. I mainly like to go outside. I and mean, if I'm camped at a place like this, it's really easy to just pee outside. I use a little shiwi when I when it's convenient and easy, although this does need to be rinsed out afterwards. So I like to have an outside water source so that I can just rinse it and then leave it up here while I'm parked somewhere like, like BLM land or a campground. I really love using that because I feel that I don't need to use toilet paper when you use that because you can kind of clean yourself with it, which is a little <laughs> awkward, but like it totally works. But otherwise, if I'm just squatting to pee, I'll not use toilet paper and I'm not the biggest fan of that. But anyway, I try not to use toilet paper and you definitely don't want to leave toilet paper just hanging on the ground. If I'm camping or if I'm parked somewhere residential, the when I took the back seats out of my car, it left a big hole in the frame and I actually have this tube just slotted all the way through the hole in the bottom of the car. It goes down through here and then out to the very bottom. And if I am camped somewhere where I can't really get out of the car at night, sometimes I'll just pee in this and then I just rinse it out with my water, <laughs> which is kind of strange, but it totally works. So my poop routine, I'm fairly predictable when it comes to like when I have to, like I have to go every morning and I kind of know my like, I'll have to, I, try, I think about it and plan for it, which I think is important. So I like to really be at a gas station. I also have a little collapsible camp toilet from Amazon that just like folds accordions out and there's like some bags in here but I've never used that and I kind of find it to be bulky and after seeing these set up I think I might switch to something like that but for now I'll either stop at a rest at a gas station or a rest stop or I'll go outside if it's a place that can handle it like in a dry area you really shouldn't dig a hole in poop but I have a shovel and toilet paper <laughs> if I end up pooping outside which I don't really mind doing. <laughs> Hello, Dee. You caught me sitting on the pot. Not literally, of course, but since you're doing a video on toilets and shall we dare say poo, this is what I use and I actually love it. It's called a clean waste. I got this one at REI, but you can go directly to the company. And why I like it, one of the reasons is, if you look over here, it has a little carry case. It's very sandy out here, but these legs fold in and when it, they're folded in, 
it's about this size. I'm trying to do something that, you know, breaks down and I was seeing that you have some bags and I'm gonna check into that. You just put the trash compactor bag in here. You put the lid down and that holds it in place. Then you put in your cat litter or your horse pellets or whatever you want and that's it. You have a lid that you close down and that kind of contains everything. And I mean, it's so simple. A net under here that holds the bag in when it's full. Whenever I go to a service station to either get a cold drink or to gas up, I just take it, tie it up, and you can see how easy you just dispose of it in the trash can, just like you would a diaper. This is really, really, I think my favorite to date. You don't have to worry about having to have water to flush it. You don't have to worry about the big cassette and walking into a place through maybe a restaurant, McDonald's or something, and then dumping it in the toilet. This is just to me so much more sanitary to wrap it up and throw it away. And the trash compactor bags that I'm using right now, they're made for a liquid and so they're very durable. So you do both in that? I do, okay. I do. And I like keeping it su simple. I, I did not want a black tank because of potential smell, but also this idea of having to empty it, finding a, a dumping site and then the cost, oh no. I'm Lynn and this is my fabulously efficient bathroom system, pea pod. Poop can. A good friend taught me if you put some dried, fresh coffee grounds in the bottom and you line it with maybe your liner leak bag and then bio bags, which I don't have right now. And then, easy peasy. This is the way I pee or poop. Ta ta. And then, if you have to save your little bags, you could just tie them up, leave them in there, and when you open it next time, it smells like coffee. I'm Kelsey. And I'm Matt. And we are Future.Roads, and this is our home. So we use the Nature's Head toilet, and we store it in this kind of hideaway thing. We didn't want to sacrifice our countertop space, and so we made it a little bit hidden. There's a shower up top too, but you just lift up the countertop here, slide this guy back, and then open this up, and you can slide this back as well. Oh. And there's the throne. So this is the Nature's Head composting toilet. I'm sure you might have heard of it, but we've had pretty great luck with it so far and we like it. So it's a composting toilet and it's fully self-contained. It's a composting toilet. You don't need to flush it. It's completely dry flush, essentially. You do your business by flipping open this latch for number two, mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, it goes through the holes for the urine tank for number one. And all you do after is you stir it up um, and it's got a fan in there that draws air in on uh, this side and then it actually exhausts it out and to the bottom of the van on the other side. Uh, the smell is pretty minimal across the board. Uh, the only thing is, you know, occasionally right after the deed is done, uh, <laughs> then, you know, obviously you want to use an exhaust fan or something like that. But no, we want to change it for the world. We love it. Yeah, Hi, I'm Sandra Grins and I own the brand Grin Whimsy. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok. And I'll be getting back to YouTube interviewing very interesting people. So I do not have a van or a bus yet. I came and rented a car and brought a tent. I did bring this portable toilet. I brought it here in hopes that I could use it in my tent. So the first night I was here, I really was delayed in using it in my tent because there's so much traffic around here that uh, it took me a while to actually sit on that and just go potty. <laughs> so um, the next morning, uh, I was talking to my mom, letting her know I'm okay, and the tent was still set up and so was the portable potty. And I let her know that I was going to at attempt to poop. So I texted her to let her know that I had a successful poop, but I didn't just text my mom. I texted my entire family. <laughs> Since I brought the toilet in here, it's been quite nice. Uh, if you look around the car, I actually found people throwing away things and decided to be able to have some privacy. So I'm all set now for car living the last night I'm here. I wanted to say thank you to everybody for being such good sports and showing us what you did for your toilets. And for those watching, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. And until next time, I will see you in the next video.